Now this message is that there's no gods made with hands. God does not make things for you to worship by His hand. You don't worship the world. You don't worship Bible. You don't worship goddesses. Now in the 19th chapter of the book of Acts, they give Paul and them a good lesson that, that taught them not to go against their gods because Diana, the great goddess that came down from Jupiter, that was making them a lot of money. Now think about how much money the Bible makes people. See, Paul saying that there's no gods which are made with hands. And they had shrines and temples and, and bracelets and everything that they made for, for Diana, the goddess that came down from Jupiter. Now, the Bible, see, came down from God. They said, hey, this is made by God. An angel come down with the Bible in his hand and said, if you eat this book, you're going to be bitter. So how much money would you take away from people if you took away the Bible? Look at the printing presses. They print billions of Bibles. Look at all the preachers that make trillions of dollars from Bible. Think about what would happen if you took away this idol that's made by hand. The Bible is made by Constantine and King James. It is made by hand. You're going to be in serious trouble if you, if you keep on worshiping the Bible because this is the same things they did with greatest Diana of the Ephesians. You see, you don't hear of her no more. But anyway, that was a great goddess they had, and they worshipped her. They made bracelets and things to her. And that same thing they do with the, with the Bible. They said, the Bible says that God will supply all my needs. Well, he didn't tell you that. He told that to the Holy Ghost people that he was talking to. So you can't claim no words from the book. The book is an idol made by Constantine and King James. And today you don't have no Christians because the Bible has stopped the voice of Jesus Christ because you can get rich worshiping the Bible. The Bible brings you all kinds of money and blessings, and, but God does not live in anything made by hand. That's why Jesus tore down the temple. God is a spirit. He lives in us. We're the temple of God. Diana's temple is not where God lives. You see, this mighty angel that came down with this book said, do not worship this book. John, you must prophesy, and that's what I'm doing. I'm prophesying to y'all, do not eat this book. Do not love this book. Do not worship this book. Because if you do, you're going to be bitter. This is a, a idol that's made by Constantine and King James. When you take the Bible, write the words down that Jesus said, that God said. You give it to Hamburger Hagee and Kenneth Copeland and Benny Hinn. Then it becomes the word of the devil. That's Lucifer's book then. That's Satan's book. Satan uses the Bible. So do not take this idol and be controlled by it because when Jesus speaks the word, it'll happen. But when you write it down and the devil gets it, then it's the word of Satan. It's an idol. Do not be controlled by this. There's no gods that's made with hand. And God is a spirit. He lives in us. And remember, the word of God is spirit and it's life. It comes to us. But when it comes in the Bible and, and they speak it, the devil, Lucifer speaks it. He's the son of God. Jesus was the son of God. He's the exact example of Jesus Christ. He's his, his brother. He looks just like him. He's transformed into angel light. And he'll give you this Bible because he can't give you the Holy Ghost. He has to give you a Bible. He can get in a few people, but he can't get in everybody like God can. So do not let him control you by a God that's made with hand. And remember, this is the greatest truth you'll ever hear. The Bible is the Bible of Constantine and King James. And when you get it and get it out in the church, it's made by hand and you control by it. You give them 10% of your money and you're controlled by the Bible. You're controlled by a God that's made by hand. They can make the Bible say anything they want it to say. They can, uh, they got 41,000 different denominations. You need to get out of that 2 billion, 300 million Bible worshipers and get in Christ, get in the Holy Ghost. Tear up your Bible, close the thing. Tear up the Bible, ask Jesus for the Holy Ghost and get out of the Bibles that's made by hand. They are made by man, and they've been made rich by this. Have the word that Jesus speaks. If Jesus speaks to me that I'm his son, then I'm his son. That don't tell me in the Bible I'm his son. He tells me I'm his son. This is God's word to you today. The Bible is an idol. The Bible is the mark of the beast.